everybody. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Permanent Booze. It is May the 4th, so happy 4th. Not quite May Day. May May the 4th be with you, right? Right, May the 4th? May, yeah. Today's the Star Wars 4th day. Whatever. I don't have anything cool Star Wars-y. Sorry. Anyway. How are you guys all doing today? So, uh, really excited you're here. It's May. Halfway through, uh, 20... 21 almost. It's been a really uh, long year. Uh, this is our episode 298, so we're coming up on episode 300 next Tuesday. Make sure you guys watch that. Hopefully we'll have a good episode instead of our typical normal subpar episodes. They're all great episodes. What are you <laughs> talking about? All right. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and uh, share this uh, channel with all your friends. Uh, today we are doing something I'd actually never even heard of in my life, but I got this as a Christmas gift. I'm not even sure who gave it to me. I think it's one of my kids. But this is the Black Eagle bourbon, their honey bourbon. Now they have a regular bourbon, but this is their honey bourbon. So it's actually not even really a whiskey. It comes in at... Um, 35% or 70 proof, so it's more of a liqueur, as is most sweet Stop. flavored bourbons or flavored whiskeys. You know, whether it's cinnamon whiskey or honey whiskey or vanilla whiskeys or whatever, they're usually more of a liqueur. That's what this is. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep it on a um, whiskey day. The cost is $23.49, pretty reasonable. And I'm actually pretty sure that the cost of $23.49 is for this handle. So it's probably under $20 bucks for a $7.50. But we're going to go ahead and leave it at $23.49. That's going to make it a three barrel on cost. This is from USDP, which is the United States Distilled Products. It's another big sourced conglomerate. conglomerate. Uh, Minnesota, I believe. Minnesota. Minnesota. Minnesota cold. Um, and obviously no age statement. I, I've found some honey liqueurs that I like. And I found some honey liqueurs, you know, whiskeys I don't like. I'm not really fond of the Jack Daniels honey. Which I thought we had at one time, but I guess we don't. Maybe um, it was somebody else's. Might be. The Evan Williams honey, the Jim Bean honey. Am I missing any? Probably, There's I can't, not off the top of my head. Oh, wow. And I probably had this at Christmas time. I don't remember. I think we sampled yeah. just about everything, but. So let's go ahead and do this review. Because this is interesting. wasn't quite what I expected. Mm. Flavor-wise, though, kind of is. The aroma made me expect one thing. The flavor moved that around to another thing. All right. So it is a three barrel at twenty three forty nine for cost. For aroma, I'm giving it a three point five. You're giving it a three. Mm-hmm. Got a little, definitely the honey. There's a little bit of vanilla in there, mm -hmm. and there's some dried fruit, but I can't really okay. pick out which. That's fruited. exactly what I wrote down. It's got a the hints of the honey. It's not overwhelmingly honey Yeah, it's like, not like in your face honey, like but you can smell it. Like some of our honey it. liqueurs we have tried. I can't even remember what the last, we just did one. Yeah, we just one. did one like a few weeks ago and it was like 
It was woof. Right in your face. Uh huh. So I put honey, I put vanilla, and I put dark cherry. It's got that bourbon esque <clears throat> yeah, aroma I to it. Definitely the had the more I smell it though, the more that honey is becoming more pronounced. For flavor, I gave it a 2.5. You gave it a 3. 3, because I know you're kind of not like the big honey mm -hmm. fan. And I like honey and like my tea and I like just... So it has a really kind of nice mm -hmm. mellow honey flavor. So it it's not like that. Some honey stuff's got that little bitter aftertaste or whatever. This one is just nice and smooth and a little sweet. Water makes it much better. Yeah, it's got a strong honey flavor to it that you're not getting on the nose. Um, and it's giving me that dirty socks kind of See, I don't, aroma I think or flavor to it. Because I like honey, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't get that. And a that. little bits of vanilla. So, not too bad. Yeah, the water brings out the honey aroma a little more. Gives It brings out a better flavor. I mean, if I was going to drink this, which, you know, I have a handle, so I probably will, but we'll probably use it for a lot of cocktails. Um, I would definitely add water to it. Mm. Might be good with a Coke. Yeah. Because they have the vanilla and the honey, well, not honey, but vanilla Cokes. Might be good with a regular Coke and, and kind of sweeten up that rum. And like I think I said in the last one that we did is a honey, it'd be good in tea. If you like oh, yeah. honey in your tea. Yeah, what was that? I, need to I look can't that remember what it was. Yeah, we look around, but, you know, that's not, that's a lost cause. Yeah, there's so uh, much. For bite, I gave it a three. You gave it a four. I think it's got a little bit of average lingering bite to it. Not much. I mean, it's not completely smooth, but it's also not bitter. So it's my standard three on that. That gives me 12 points. That gives you 13 points. So it's still a three barrel. I'd say on the bite, a little bit of water gives it a little more bite than without the water. Yeah. I don't know, tell us what you think about flavored whiskeys in general, uh, honeyed whiskeys. Do you like them? Obviously it's not really a standard whiskey because it's lower proof, but um, I don't know. I, I would like to try their regular Black Eagle bourbon. I think I would buy this so if I saw it in the store. The honey? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to try their, their regular bourbon and I think they have a cinnamon too. We could I'd that. like to try that. I know you would. Alright, tell us what you think. Um, is there any other honeyed whiskeys we should try? Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And even though this isn't technically a whiskey, this, this is okay. It's, this is good whiskey. It's pretty good whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, sorry. Laters.